right here. quick JavaScript and uh, Command A selects all of it. Mm -hmm. and delete. Oh, okay. And so you can hide JavaScript now because we won't be using that. Right. Where's the hide button? You, you just click the name. So click JavaScript yeah. and that's it. We're only using those two. You know, uh, in your if you're on Windows and you type Notepad in your search, you'll find it. App will just come up, and that's that's the easiest way to get to it. And if you're on Mac, what do you recommend? Uh, text, 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 yeah, text editor. Okay, great, yeah. super. We can show you after. You need and to see that. so when you leave this class, you might want to use that if you prefer it, and your favorite web browser. So you can use Google Chrome, Safari, or Firefox, or Internet Explorer. And when you become more advanced, you will develop a relationship with a special editor, like you'll just love this one text editor and that's what you'll choose and you'll find that as you advance. Access for readability. Uh, so you also close your head, similar to how you close your HTML tag. And this is where all of the information about this one particular web page goes. Not the website, but this page. Uh, so you can add things like a title. And I'll put this as HTML basic. And this is what would show in your browser window, right here, where HTML basic dash JS bin shows. That's where the title shows. If you have them in order like me. Okay. That folks catch up. Got it. Hopefully it's the same one. Okay. Does anyone think they need help while everyone else catches up? Yeah, but keep doing this back up. Okay. Wait for the answer. Okay. And then there's another deck that just do that. Yeah, see no. There's one or the Crawlers won't care about how they're going to put it on the next slide. Okay. So now, oh, that's that's just the search engine. This is for the search engine. Now, if you click here, oh, okay. um, they will do it. Smart got it. And, uh, and they know how to this is just for search engines. This portion. It won't actually show it here. But if you put it here, you put it under H1, just put it in this website. Close it now the same way you opened it. That's open text, so it's going to be bracket. No, 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 no. Just right there. Bracket. Slash. That's close sign. H1. Close bracket. That means this is where that is. Now put another one here. Welcome to my site. Close bracket. I can just uh, ask in general to stop. George, you know this? Could I? George, you know The higher the number, like from size. one to six, for instance, oh, yeah. that make the font okay. size smaller? Yes. Okay. Uh, and it stops at six. H7 does not exist. Okay. Uh, neither does H0. I mean, it's one to six. Okay. Always rocking. How's the back row? Back row, you guys are right? <coughs> You're notoriously not good students, right? You hide in the back, is that your problem? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, we, oh, yeah. the can hide. So this is good if you want to make something stand out. And when I, I was leading on to uh, search engine optimization, which is um, how, how well Google likes your website. Uh, if you put something important in these H1 or header tags, Google and other crawlers pay attention to that. They say, this is what this should be about. I'm going to check. And it goes through, it goes through and it reads. And if it finds uh, the similar words, words that uh, uh, have to do with that subject, it kind of boosts your popularity, especially on Google being Yahoo. Uh, it, you don't want to put something that is irrelevant. That will not be good. It will hate that. Uh, and so, Google the noun. Will hate. Yes. I got you. Got it. Google's a think that. Um, you should use these also uh, not too liberally, 
but you should try to be consistent. H1 is like of utmost importance. H6 deserves a header, but you could kind of mix it in with the paragraph. It might be a quote, but there's a dedicated tag for that, so I wouldn't recommend that. But you could use it for a quote, for a testimonial, something like that. And what's your point, I guess, just with Google hating or not hating? It's just about what? About being found? About, about what, what, what being, just, uh, just to make that point all the way. It's making sure that you're not fake. Right. So a lot of... Because uh, what, what, what does it mean when it hates it? What, what's the result of it not liking it? You will not be on the first page. Thank you. Ever. <laughs> uh, and no one looks past the first page these days <laughs> if you didn't know that. You have separate lines, or they can be on the same line. And now you're just moving empty text. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, so this is still irrelevant, but now it's actually moving this. Right. right. Good question. Um, the next thing might be kind of useless to, to you, but uh, for who it is useful to, it's a lifesaver. Uh, and so I don't want to not save someone's life by not showing you guys. Uh, this is a comment. Uh, yeah. Comments are invisible. Nice. It, this has a really, really weird syntax to it, really weird uh, shape kind of if you think of it that way. It has an exclamation point, it has dashes, it doesn't really open, it's, it's kind of empty and not empty because you have my comment goes here. This is where your comment goes. But it doesn't show on the page. So it's like that's, a note. Yes, that's the point. It's a note. It's a note to yourself. It's a note to whoever you're working with. Uh, in fact, you can put code in here. So P, this is a draft. A backslash to close. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What Unfortunately, yeah. It's like arrows. Where do you close? Yep. If it makes you more comfortable, you can put the slash. <laughs> it does no harm. As long as you have these last three characters. You were saying? You had a question? No, I was just saying, if you don't have that back arrow, nothing else will show up after. Right. Yeah. Um, um, quick question on that. When, like, when it's reading like the search engines, will they still read that information? Just you, like, do you get in trouble if you have a lot of comments, like if you're doing a bunch of updates? Would you get in trouble if you had a bunch of comments in Not there? Not in trouble. Like they do the white text? Um, the only thing you might want to think about is um, they try to be smart and see who's trying to like manipulate their system. So what some people would do is they would put tons and tons of text, like popular things, like they put Britney Spears in there, whatever pop artist, whatever celebrity, and then when people search that, Walmart pops up. But when Walmart has nothing to do with it, just because they had it in here. So if Google gets a, like the sense that you're trying to manipulate them, then you'll get in trouble. If they can see its code and it's still relevant, that's good for you. Now, uh, keep that open while you're done. Uh, and note that is even safe. So if you go to the file, you can save, and then you can save it you know, on your hard drive wherever you want and get back to it. I saved it from when I first started all the way down, and I didn't know that it takes up this much. <laughs> That's cool, though. That's good stuff to return to. And most people just use the rows or columns anyways. Uh, and then we're going to go, we're going to go to the list. Uh, you know, show dibs, but there's really nothing to do with them. And uh, there's a few more things like uh, HTML entities, which is like the ampersand, the and symbol, and a few other things. Area, you should only ever be given this, you know, whatever, right? That kind of stuff I always be like, I don't like that. But if somebody's really studying my behavior as a customer and says, oh, wait, this has been a customer of ours for 10 years, this is somebody who we want to serve for the next 20 years, like that kind of stuff I get excited about. But I think the mishandling of data always has to be alongside of people that are really using it and figuring it out, and you know. So, anyway, that's me being like a little. 
paranoid sometimes, but that predictive analytics category, in, in especially in computing, like with Google, it cares about it, IBM cares yeah. about it, and then there's all these little startups that are coming that care about it. So I think that's going to kind of blow up the actuary business a little bit. All right, you're just coming from the modern HTML class with Alex Ardones, who taught at CoWork. Uh, tell me a little bit about your experience. What did you come away with today? I learned quite a bit about uh, how to do HTML and some of the things that have changed. I had dabbled in it before trying to teach myself, but this was much better. Okay, cool. Will you be coming back to take any more classes in the future? Oh, definitely. Okay. And I'll be back for the second half of this on the 22nd. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for you. coming cool. to the modern HTML class. Thank you. I was looking over your shoulder a little, and you felt like you were kind of tracking pretty well. Are you already a programmer? You already do some programming? Uh, I've, I've done a little bit of work with Python, which is like robot programming and stuff on FLBS. They have some computer programming class. They had it. I think they ended it the year after I did it. <laughs> what do you think you uh, like learned today that maybe you didn't know or something that you might mess around with a little more? Um, definitely when you went over the uh, finding the source. I'll be looking at that on a bunch of websites because, I don't know, sounds, sounds fun to see what they put in. Totally. Okay, cool. You think you'll come to future classes? Definitely. All right. Yes. Thanks for coming. Hey, Linda. So I, you've just taken the modern HTML classic co-work. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what you uh, picked up today that maybe you'll mess around with a little bit more after today's session. Well, I really liked learning the basics of HTML, uh, HTML. <laughs> but um, it's really the start. Um, so... I think I would like to play around with it yeah. and see what happens and um, to I think it's just the beginning of a new history of website development so cool it was fun excellent <laughs> I hope you come to future classes thanks for coming Thank you. okay <laughs> Ricardo thanks for coming to the modern HTML class we liked having you I saw you um, kind of saving all your code into a notepad. Are you going to yeah, go home and work on it a little bit and kind of mess yeah. a little more with it? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually planning on making websites for some of my friends and stuff. They're doing all this YouTube stuff, so <laughs> I told them that I'd eventually try and make them some web pages, get some of their videos and other things that they can do new features and stuff. Awesome. So going to this class kind of really helped me out with this. I'm going to fiddle around, get to know everything, make sure that I don't do something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I want to make this as thorough as possible. This class really helped me for, uh, for a beginner. I didn't know anything. This helped me out actually a lot. Great, that's awesome. Come back uh, for, on the 22nd if you can. Oh, definitely. We'll pick it up from here and also we'll do future classes like this one. All right, yeah. Thanks for coming. All right, no problem. Okay, cool.